One of the most exciting things about playing the blues is the variety of feels it can be played in. In this workshop, we are going to learn how to play the blues in a shuffle feel. Before we get started on learning the shuffle feel, let's take a moment to revise the rhythms we already know. The quarter note, commonly known as the tar, and eighth notes, commonly known as titis. Let's have a quick reminder of how these sound. Here is the sound of the quarter notes. Three, four. And here is the sound of the eighth notes. Three, four. Now that we've refreshed our memory on how these rhythms sound, we can start learning about the shuffle feel. In simple terms, a shuffle feel is created by playing eighth notes unevenly. To understand how to create a shuffle feel, we first need to take a closer look at the rhythms we've just revised. The quarter note is best understood as the note that represents the beat in music. Each quarter note is worth one entire beat. In this video, I'll use a circle to help represent the duration of a beat. As each beat is played, the entire circle is coloured in, demonstrating that a quarter note consumes the entire beat. Listen and watch as I demonstrate these four quarter notes. One, two, three, four. Here we can see a bar of eighth notes. Each eighth note is worth half a beat. Again, I'll use these circles to help demonstrate the duration of an eighth note. This time, you will notice that each circle is divided into perfect halves. I've done this to help illustrate how the eighth notes are worth half a beat each. Listen and watch the example. One, two, three, four. This is the default or normal way in which eighth notes are played. When eighth notes are played in perfect even halves, we describe them as straight. In order to learn how to play a shuffle feel, we'll need to learn another rhythm, the triplet. You'll notice that we write triplets with a curved line underneath them and the number three. This is necessary when writing a triplet and is done in order to help illustrate the difference between eighth notes and triplets. Each triplet is worth one third of a beat. To represent this, I've divided the circles into three even portions. I've done this to help illustrate how the triplets are worth one third of a beat each. Listen and watch the example. One. Two, three, four. In this illustration, we've moved the curved line and the numeral three to the top of the bar just to keep it out of the way and make the bar easier for you to read. Now that we understand triplets, we can learn how to play in a shuffle feel. A shuffle feel is created by playing the first and third triplet of every beat, effectively leaving out or playing through the second triplet in each beat. To help illustrate how we only play the first and third triplet in the bar, I've put a new curved line underneath the triplets that show how the first two notes are joined together. This notation is called a tie. Additionally, I've greyed out the second triplet in the bar to help you remember that this particular note is no longer played. Again, we'll use the circles to help with our demonstration. Because the first two triplets are joined together, you'll notice that the first two-thirds of the circle are coloured in at the same time. This is to help you understand that the first and second triplet of each beat are joined together. Listen and watch the demonstration. One, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. 
Now that you know how a shuffle feel is created, we need to see how it is written. Writing an entire song using the triplet notation you've just seen would be tedious and confusing. Instead of doing this, we simply write our eighth notes as we normally would and write an indicator at the top of the sheet music to inform the musician that this piece will be played in a shuffle feel. Now, let's listen to straight eighth notes and shuffle eighth notes played next to each other so that we can really hear the difference. First, the straight eighth notes. Three, four. And now, the shuffle eighth notes. Three, four. To finish off, let's listen to a 12 bar blues progression played in a shuffle feel from start to finish. One, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. 